The idea of traveling alone is something that I've grown accustomed to, but in fact also started to love. I was invited by IHG Rewards Club, a brilliant travel companion, to get out and explore Britain. I chose to visit London and Bristol, staying at hotels owned by Intercontinental Hotels Group along the way, both perfectly located to explore some of the UK's best gems. So I'm going to share with you what I got to on my staycation. My first stop in London was Box Park, a bunch of old shipping containers that have been turned into quirky little shops and pop-up shops, and not to mention a bunch of really cool eateries. I then headed down to Shoreditch, which is a really cool upcoming area with amazing bars, restaurants, coffee shops, street art, and not to mention a lot of vintage shops. After doing a bunch of shopping, I then headed to central London to eye up the beautiful Somerset House and then take a walk along the Strand to take in the sights of the skyline and some of the most famous landmarks. I then headed towards my hotel, which is right next to Paddington Station. I stayed at Hotel Indigo, which is a beautiful boutique hotel right in the heart of the fun. It was so super cosy and beautifully decorated. Here I decided to take a short break to write up an itinerary and figure out how I was going to navigate around London for the rest of my trip. I then took a short walk back to Paddington Station and headed towards Oxford Street. Where I was to meet a friend to go to the Riding House Cafe for a gorgeous evening meal. I then headed back to the Tube to go back to my hotel for a good night's sleep. An early morning called for a nice coffee in my hotel room. I soon got ready and I was on my way. The area in which my hotel was in in Paddington was a beautiful thriving area with cafes and bars lining the streets and flowers and gardens decorating the area. I was kind of hungry, so I headed to Kensington to suss out my old Dutch, a pancake house I've been lusting over for ages. I then hopped in a cab and took a short journey to London Zoo. I haven't been to London Zoo since I was a kid and I had an absolutely amazing time. There's so many animals, there's so much to do and it's right slap bang in the middle of Regent's Park. a short stroll up towards Camden. As you walk by the canal, you will pass boats, beautiful houses and lots of interesting things to look at. I finally reached Camden Lock and as it was kind of lunchtime, I was in the best place. Absolutely rammed with street food, stalls, shops and a really electric atmosphere. I found myself a bite to eat and I also had a little look around the shops. I then headed back to Paddington, which is where I needed to go to get the train to Bristol. After an hour and 40 on the train, I crossed the road to my hotel, which was conveniently placed, which was a Holiday Inn that never disappoints. I wanted as much time in Bristol as I could, so I left my hotel, which was conveniently opposite the train station, so I left my stuff there, and I headed for breakfast in an area called Clifton, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Clifton is 
renowned for being, well, beautiful. I then found myself walking up to the observatory, which you get an absolutely spectacular view of Bristol's suspension bridge. After taking in some nature, I then headed back into town and I went to a nail bar which I've been wanting to go to for so long. I then headed back into the city centre, checked out the markets and set up for some lunch. After filling up, I headed back to the train station which was only a short walk away and I headed home. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much IHG Rewards Club for sending me on this adventure. If you're interested in travel and want rewards for traveling, as some of the benefits from your points will be more hotel rooms, higher cars, apps. It's basically an incentive to keep traveling and I will definitely be using mine.